What's up guys, Owen Law sent me one of their Scorpion Evo 3 A1 gel blasters for free and today we're going to check it out. Let's open it. This is what the inside of the box looks like. Inside the box, I got a mag. Actually, I got two mags. I'm not sure what this is. This may either be a hopper or something you use to hydrate the gel balls with. I got the blaster, and as you can see here, it has a folding stock. I got safety glasses, a battery charger, a battery, a barrel attachment, a front sight, a rear sight, and I think this is some type of handle. I got this, which is probably the cap to this. So this is most likely what you hydrate the gel balls in. And then you can use this to load the gel balls into the mag. Dehydrated gel balls and instructions. So let's take a closer look at this blaster. As I mentioned earlier, this is the barrel attachment that you can put on there. You have a tack rail here and we can put the front sight there and the rear sight there. This is actually kind of like a forward grip that slides on a tack rail that's here. And I don't know if you'd actually call it a grip. Maybe it's more like a grip stop that kind of stops your hand there. I didn't mention this earlier, but there's also a tack rail here and on this side as well. Right here, there's a button that you press to release the stock so you can fold it. And it kind of snaps into place. And then you can unsnap it to put it back. You put your mag in here, like that. On this side, there is a little lever that you pull down, and that's the mag release. There's a selector switch on each side, here and here. And you've got off, semi-automatic, and automatic. The stock is adjustable, and if you push this little piece here in, it lets you pull it back. All the way in is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So there's seven settings. Part of the tack rail that's on top of the blaster is also the door to the battery compartment. So this orange part right here, you slide it backwards and then you can open it up like that and access your battery compartment. On this side, you have a priming handle, and once you've got it all loaded, if you pull this back, what it will do is load the gel balls from the mag into the blaster. As I said before, you have two mags. One is translucent and one is not, and they both have a little door in the back that you open to load the gel balls. All right, all I need to do next is hydrate some gel balls and charge the battery, and then we'll test the blaster. All right, guys, I loaded a mag up and I used the transparent one so you can see the gel balls inside. I went ahead and loaded the mag in the blaster and now I'm gonna pull this lever and it should load the gel balls into the blaster. And you may hear some sounds and a change in sounds when it's done. And maybe this doesn't do anything. Or maybe it doesn't do anything electronically. Let me try firing it and see what happens. I don't know if you can see it, but it is starting to load the gel balls up the mag. And now it's firing. Let me try pulling this lever one more time and see if it does anything. Nope. First I'm going to try to blast these airsoft targets from about 10 feet away.
Next, I'm going to try to blast these airsoft targets from about 20 feet away. Next, I'm going to blast a human-sized target. Now I'm going to put it on automatic. First shout out goes to DJ McCase. The next shout out goes to Darbo69. The next shout out goes to Mad City Plays. The next shout out goes to Joseph Gonzalez. The next shout out goes to Khalid Azalani. The next shout out goes to Jeremiah Castro with the Nerf Rival Charger.